Okay, so langoustines. I actually think that the best way of eating them is raw. Uh, so you have to get them when they're alive. You can't you can't eat them raw unless you kill them literally instantly. Um, or else you might. Whoa! Damn. Um, okay. Let's let's do this. So the way you do this is. First of all, be careful. Um, you take them. You hold them here by the head with, the left, with my left hand. You hold them by the tail and you just twist. And I'm gonna chuck it in the boiling water. And then we got the second one. It's quite lively. You don't want to get your finger in here. It's quite, quite sharp. Um, yeah. Well, this one's quite lively. You want to be quick. Chuck them in the boiling water. Now, <clears throat> these will move a bit. That's just reflexes. You want to squeeze, squeeze. And I know it looks, those of you that worry about the moving elements, the reason I say it's reflex is because the brain is over there, right? The brain is where you process pain. So any movement here is involuntary. However, I do think that there is probably some pain going on up above. At the same time, I don't know what their pain receptors are like. How much do they process pain? How different is it to us? Anyway, you squeeze the shells. And you can slowly peel them away. There you go. Now remember to remove this hair line. I just realized last time I didn't do that. <laughs> that is the uh, the intestines. So we know what goes on in there. It's literally on the outside. You'll see it as a clear line. Maybe there's a bit of brown stuff in there. But uh, once you pull it out, it's all good. Keep the tail on for ease of consumption. Mm. And remember to squeeze at the end when you bite into it to squeeze the meat out. You don't want to waste meat. And then you move on to the second one. <coughs> This one, whoa, this one's still moving. A lot of reflexes. What happens is the calcium channels in the nerves open up. I believe that's what it's called. What they I believe those are the channels that open up. Um, because there's a huge gap in them from when, oh, I'm actually cut. You gotta be careful of the sharpness. See, because I'm the one eating it, I'm not too worried about it now because it's my blood. But if I was serving, then if you're serving, you don't want your blood on raw meat. And if you're eating these raw, you have to eat them literally as soon as they've died. You don't want to keep them and hold them for longer because these do spoil quite fast. And remember to look for the line of the intestines. Yep, it's come off. 
that's what they look like up close you can actually just pull it out if you don't want to put it straight in your mouth squeeze from the right from the tail and you don't you're more just holding with the other hand That was so good. Now I personally don't really have time to cook. I personally don't have time to eat them right now. So I'm just boiling them here and I'm just going to store them later and eat them later um, but yeah you want to try and have them boiled as soon as possible for a reasonable amount of time if you want to eat them later but I'm just going to have my rice in a salad and um, these langoustines will take a long time to open up and things like that which is why I can't really be bothered I'll eat them later. For now, I'll have salmon for my protein. And there's not enough in these two anyway to really fill someone up. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to eat them later. Anyway, remember to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Done.